Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Disney Magic. It is day three of our Bohemian Cruise with two stops at Castaway Key. Yesterday was our first stop, and today we have a day at sea. I'm very excited for today. Not only did we get the opportunity to sleep in because it's just after 10 o'clock right now, but we also have a Paolo brunch reservation at 11. We're going to go ahead and get dressed in our formal wear or just pro more proper attire, more suitable attire for Paolo Brunch. And we're going to head on upstairs and experience that. We're going to explore a lot more of the ship today. And tonight is Pirate Night. And we have the grand return of the Pirates in the Caribbean deck party with Pirate Fireworks. It's going to be an exciting day, a very exciting video. I hope you guys are excited because I know I am. Let's head on upstairs and experience Paolo Brunch. Good morning. Hi. How'd you sleep? better than you did. I had a rough night. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I had a rough night. But you know what? I woke up earlier and we had another little bit of a nap <laughs> after we just woke up and I do feel a lot better. So yay, are you ready for Paolo? Food. Food, yes. Lots of food. I'm sorry, what did you just say, babe? This is not acceptable wear to Paolo. No, I don't Oscar think... is a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> so? That doesn't make a difference. Disney owns the Muppets. Hmm... That doesn't make it acceptable to wear a Paolo. <laughs> I'm not understanding your argument here. All right, so I just want to give you guys an idea of what I am wearing today to go to Paolo. Yes, I know my shirt is really wrinkled. I didn't think about that. I pulled it out of my luggage. But I am wearing jeans and some nicer shoes. These are actually the jeans that used to not fit me. Back when I first started my you know, fitness journey at the beginning of the year, these jeans did not fit me. And now they do. So um, hopefully by the end of the cruise, they still fit me. But they fit me right now, so that's really good. So let's go ahead and turn around and see what Coda's wearing. So Coda, who are you wearing today? I don't know. The world Marshalls. needs to know. <laughs> Marshalls. <laughs> You're wearing Marshalls today. But you look so cute. Look at you. Off the shoulder dress. I love it. <laughs> okay, so remember in last night's video where I said that I needed to go to the bathroom real bad and I was rushing Koda around? Um, did someone hear me struggling last night? Because I opened the door this morning and there is a giant box of toilet paper outside of my room and I just think it's the funniest thing and Coda's really amused as well. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Disney got jokes. <laughs> Alright, so thankfully a couple rooms down from our room there is a laundry room with an iron and everything else you might need. They have washers and dryers over here that can be used for a small fee. I don't exactly know what the fee is off the top of my head but it is an option for you guys if you are on a cruise because as we know personally, you're not allowed to bring any steamers or irons on the ship. Anything to possibly de-wrinkle your clothes, you're not allowed to really bring on the ship. Thankfully, the iron is free. So you can just come in here, turn on the timer, and it activates the iron, and you can do whatever you need to do to get yourself looking nice and ready for whatever kind of formal night or power reservation you might have. All right, so what do you guys think of the finished product? Definitely a lot better than before. So a little wrinkly over here, but I think we did good. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> we just got in the elevator. We're going to deck nine and who is Coda? You can't I even say even nothing. You I can't say nothing. You do the same thing sometimes. <laughs> Not all the floors. <laughs> you the do the highest. same thing sometimes. That is so rude. <laughs> I promise it wasn't us. Oh it was not us. God. Someone pushed all the buttons. It was not us. <laughs> so while we are exploring the ship, we did happen to pass by the Buena Vista Theater. This is where they show all of their movies. So throughout the day today, they'll be showing movies, but just right now, they are not. So on today's day at sea, they have The Lion King, Encanto, Zootopia, Polar Bear, and Eternals. Hey guys, editor Adrian here. I just got done editing the video that you're watching right now. And originally, I had included all of the footage from Paolo in this one video. However, I had to make the decision to take out the Paolo footage and put it in its own separate video because if I had left that footage in, this video would have been 45 minutes long plus. So in order to cut down on the video, time and to give another video for you guys to watch that video is going to be posted tomorrow so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you guys want to see that Paolo review but anyways sorry for interrupting let's go ahead get back to the video and pick back up as soon as we get back into the room after our phenomenal meal uh, and this is what we like coming back to a clean room with a freshly made bed that we're just gonna jump on and destroy again <laughs> <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> 
Uh, Coda, why do we have to take a nap? We don't have to. <laughs> but your insistence upon us taking a nap. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> We're gonna get ourselves in trouble playing nap roulette. All right, guys. Well, after a quick game of nap roulette that we thankfully woke up from, it's a little after three o'clock right now. We're gonna head upstairs to the adult pool for just a little bit to enjoy some relaxation and some pool time before heading back on downstairs to get ready for pirate night. So let's switch over to the GoPro. Well. Cody and I were gonna spend some time in the adult only pool, but it's a little bit too crowded for us right now. Not too much room to play with without being on top of each other. So I think we're just gonna save this for another time. All right, we're gonna see if we can experience the twist and spout, which is the big yellow twirly slide. All right, bye babe. but surely going down. <laughs> Yeah, they don't do nothing. The look of disappointment you had. <laughs> I'm not having fun anymore. None of the buttons work. I'm assuming it's gonna come towards me based on the water dripping this way. Any minute now. I look away for one second. <laughs> I look away for one second, I look back up and it's in my face. <laughs> oh dear. Ah! Well that's cool that you can move these things around. Whee! So this one's gonna go next. Going, 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 going. Oh! I'm having fun. I adjusted it. <laughs> what kind of adults are we where we find no room at the adults only area our only option is to come and have fun in the kitty area <laughs> all right coda so what are you about to do today that that what's that called so on the dream and fantasy we have the aqua duck this is called the aqua dunk this is a drop slide a trap door slide where you get in a capsule they say three two one and the floor drops out from under you so unfortunately no gopros allowed because it's a sudden drop slide so i'll see you on the other side okay. i'll see you when you get up there and i'll be filming you when you come down okay all right i love you good luck Bye. all right coda's up next she's getting into the capsule right now Gonna try and zoom in on it. You can't zoom in on the GoPro. So she's laying back in there. The door is closed. Well, let's see her come down and make her splash down. Three, two, oh, there she goes. <laughs> so, how was it, babe? It was fun. It was fun? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Was it as bad as you thought it was gonna be, or were you nervous at all? No. I've done enough with them. Oh, well then. I feel then. it up here though. <laughs> You're a little daredevil. Oh, I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't ride it because the weight limit is 300 pounds. <laughs> so, I'm, I'll be there soon. I'll be yeah. there soon enough. All right, we are back from the pool area. We are showered and changed. We're gonna head on downstairs to Fathoms to try and get ourselves into $2,500 grand prize bingo. That is gonna be insane. I would have liked to have been there earlier, but ran out of time. I had to go to the bathroom. We both had to shower. We're heading down there now to try and get into that. All right, we made it. 
finally to Fathoms. And we have purchased our bingo cards for the $2,500 bingo jackpot prize game. We did the $60 family pack, which comes with two iPads and two of these punch cards. So we have how many chances? A lot of chances to, to possibly win. So I'm very excited about that. You got to risk it to get the biscuit. So hopefully luck is on our side. And it doesn't look like it's ridiculously crowded. I've definitely seen bingo more crowded. So best of luck to us. All right, if we're going to be doing some gambling, might as well have some alcohol with it. We both got some strawberry daiquiris. G505, G55. You got it, say you got it. Local people got it. <laughs> I have a B! No! No, I got 20 bucks. You know the rule. Uh, it's B2. B2. Oh, you know you're not enough. Oh, you're finally standing now. <laughs> Maybe what you need to do is yell at her at, at three. Everybody say, shake it up, Betty. Come on, watch. Shake it up, Betty! People! People, people. We have an O. We have an O. Oh. I have an O. For the real people, do you need O? Do you need O? <laughs> Look how many. No! No! Oh, you need I needed 66, 68, or 73. Dang it! It was one off. <laughs> it's okay, this isn't the big one. Now, people, it's time to play the black out. I don't like it. Everybody's dark apart from me. <laughs> All right, Coda, let's get a look at your pirate outfit. You want to stand back just a little bit more so we can see the whole thing? You got your boots, your fishnets, even nuggets out a bandana. You look great, baby. And tonight we are dining at Lumiere's. <laughs> And since we are dining at Lumiere's, our napkins are shaped like little tuxedos. And because it's pirate night, we all get free Pirates of the Caribbean bandanas that Nugget has been wearing for all of his cruises. <laughs> for bread service, we have a selection of different rolls and a Johnny cake, which is basically another, you know, form of cornbread. All right, let's go over the specialty pirate menu that is being served in all restaurants tonight. Starting with the appetizers, we have the Shri. Uh, some Baji's vegetable samosa. We have Angelica's lime marinated shrimp, deep fried calypso crab cake, and Swan's red and yellow beetroot carpaccio. For soups and salads, we have a carrot and cilantro soup, a chilled mango soup, a fennel, orange, and quinoa salad, along with a baby gem. For bread service, we have the Johnny cake with mango dip. For our main courses, we have Jack's treasure of the seas, Cortez's cilantro marinated Caribbean grouper filet, Tia Dalma's jerk chicken, Guglielmo Grasso's veal, also buco, and King George's roasted privateer strip loin. And for vegetarian options, we have the Shanghai noodle stir fry and the Barberry Coast falafel. All right, and for the first course, we have Angelica's lime marinated shrimp with chili, white corn, sweet potato, and onion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for our entrees, I have the veal asabuco, center cut veal shank, slowly braised in red wine, and served with crisp onions, buttered green beans, and parsnip mash. This looks really, really good. Holy cow. And just because I really like scallops, I asked for a small plate of scallops, and I was expecting maybe three, but no, they gave me like seven. No, I can do math. That's nine. Wow. <laughs> they gave me a lot of scallops. That's what I meant to say. So I'm eating good tonight.
Pirate Mickey. He'll be back, I'm sure. Pirate Minnie's here. Alright, so now that the look is finally complete, I have my belt on, bandana. I even got some eyeliner on me as well. I'm feeling very piratey. This is my first time ever, like, legitimately dressing up for a pirate night, so I'm very excited. So we just got back into the room for a little bit during pirate night. Our room's been turned down and take a look at that. We have a Davy Jones little towel animal. Guys, what the heck? Oh no, focus, please focus. I see two red funnels. That is the dream. That has to be the dream that's far away over there. The camera for the life of it will not focus but there are two red funnels. I seriously think that that's the dream. I'd also like to point out how slow we are going. We are moving insanely slow, turtle pacing through the water. Another thing I wanna point out, I don't know how well you guys can see in this camera, but it is such a gorgeous night. The stars are out in full force. You can see a lot. And then that little blur down there is the, is the other Disney ship, but this is nuts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is almost time for the Pirates in the Caribbean deck party. We came back into the room for just a little bit to relax, watch some TV. Now we're going to head on upstairs with the tripod, get ourselves set up, and hopefully catch some really good fireworks. And I'm very curious to see what that other Disney ship is going to do as well. If it's their pirate night and their fireworks go off at the same time, that is going to be epic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the top deck for the Pirates in the Caribbean deck party. Starts at 9.45. It is currently 9 o'clock, and as you guys can see, it is very popular. You guys need to make sure you get here early in order to claim a spot here on the upper deck or else you are going to be on the ground level over there. A lot of the action is going to be happening up over here, but at the conclusion of the event, the fireworks are going to be happening off in that direction, off on the starboard side. So just bear that in mind. If you want to make sure you get a clear view of the fireworks, make sure you are facing the starboard side. If you're on that side, you're going to have to turn around away from the action. I'd also like to point out the other Disney ship is right over there on our port side. So yes, I was right. The Disney ship that is pulling alongside us, almost parallel to us, is in fact the Disney Dream. They just had their Castaway Key day today, and now we're going to Castaway Key tomorrow. So our paths are kind of crossing, and it just so happens to be during Pirate Night. So the people that are on the Dream, they're going to have an excellent view of the fireworks here tonight. It's me, your old pirate pal, Mickey Mouse. Our Pirates in the Caribbean party is about to start, 
and I just wanted to tell you that no matter what happens tonight, I'm on your side. Well, that sure is good to know. But who's ready to party like a pirate?
having such a wonderful time. How awesome is that? The Disney Dream got a front row seat to our fireworks. That is insane. How awesome is that for those passengers? I can't remember the last time I was on a Disney ship and sailed so close to another Disney ship, especially at night. That's incredible. It looks like a lot of other people have the same idea we do. Everybody's heading over to Cabana's for that midnight buffet. Except it's not really midnight, but they call it a midnight buffet. Holy cow, they have roast turkey drumsticks. Oh my gosh. They have quinoa and rice and beans. We also have some chicken and beef fajitas. Hello, may I have a slice please? Thank you so much. All right, sat down, got our food. We have a turkey shank, we have the beef and chicken fajita, we have a piece of ham over here, and they also had a crepe station where you can make your own crepes. So I decided to get two with Nutella, one with chocolate banana, and a little bit of whipped cream as well. And Coda is gonna be making her way back up there very soon to get some tacos. This pirate buffet is so flipping good. The turkey leg, I keep hearing people say, oh, it's the turkey leg that they have in the parks. No, it is not. It is a very different kind of turkey leg. It's not even called a turkey leg, it's called a turkey shank. And it's really good. It's got barbecue sauce all over it, and it's much easier to eat than the ones that are actually found inside the parks. Now, this pirate buffet isn't exactly advertised everywhere. We could not find it anywhere on the app. So, this buffet is kind of like a need to know kind of thing. I, I'm really surprised that Disney doesn't advertise it a lot more to guests on the ship, but I do feel like if you go to dinner, your servers will actually advertise it to you and let you know about it. But our servers, they didn't tell us about it. I had to ask them. I asked them if there was actually going to be a pirate buffet, and they said yes, there was going to be a buffet, and they told us exactly what time it was going to be. So, Definitely keep that in mind. If you're sailing on any Disney ship and there's a pirate night, more than likely there's going to be a pirate buffet following the fireworks and the party. So just make sure you get here as early as possible because it is going to fill up real quick and the buffet is only about an hour long, if that. Because I've heard stories about the buffet just ending without notice and shutting down and closing down and you're only able to really get one helping. So make sure that you have a plan of attack. Make sure you have someone come and grab a table and then you have someone else go and get a bunch of food and then come down. You're gonna have to, it's gonna be one of those situations where you have to sit down with some food and then go back and get some more just to make sure that you get your fill of what you want. But those are just my tips for the Pirate Buffet. And you can see Coda just got her, her tacos and it looks like she got a loaded baked potato too. Oh my gosh, that looks good. <laughs> I did not see the potatoes. Ah, that's why. Oh, nice. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy the pirate buffet, guys. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but we are definitely making a hard U-turn and saying sayonara to the Disney dream. We are heading the opposite direction. They are heading back up north towards Port Canaveral. Now it's actually kind of funny. This is the third full day of our voyage and this is the first time we've actually set foot inside Cabanas. And again, it is still Finding Nemo themed. And Coda is absolutely in love with it. Anything fishy related or Nemo related, <laughs> she absolutely loves it. So I love that Cabanas is still relatively the same across all ships. <laughs> That's Deb. Are you sure? Yes. It could be Flo. It could be Flo. <laughs> she has to boop all the noses. Why is it like smolder? <laughs> smolder. <laughs> you come to this tank often? <laughs> Wait a minute. We just we just got back to our room and someone someone gave us bracelets? What is this? Oh my gosh. You've been pixie dusted from Kevin5512. What the heck? That is so cute. Thank you. I don't know who you are. Hopefully you watch the videos. I assume so. But thank you. Uh, okay, guys. With that, that ends day three on the Disney magic. That was a fun day. What was, the, what was your favorite part of the day? Because we did a lot today. And we napped. So don't say nap because I know that nap is on the top of your list most of the time. Other than the nap, what was your favorite thing? You dessert at Paolo, honestly. <laughs> Paolo brunch was or, <laughs> the best. Oh or my god! Just gosh. watching Mickey dangle there before he could was allowed to unclip his thing to fall down. <laughs> he just he sat there for a good thirty seconds and just like he was like kicking his feet and he was watching the fireworks. 
<laughs> he was just chilling. Meanwhile, Ariel's like, no, what? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Fantasmic Ariel, look it up. Um, so let me ask you, what did you think of your first ever pirate party? Because you've heard a lot of things about this, you know, from me. But what did you think about it seeing it in person? It was cute. Um, I thought there were going to be more pirates coming from the sky, but it was cute. Back in the day, there used to be. Oh. <laughs> Back in the day, there used to be. They definitely toned it down a little bit. Uh, well, it, it used to be more of an invasion uh, yeah, in like, the past, but I still think it's a lot of fun. I definitely think that the Pirate Knights are what separates Disney from the other cruise lines. Like, you won't find anything like this on a different cruise line. This level of entertainment, this level of family-friendly, the fireworks and the surprises and the twists that they have throughout the show with Mickey ziplining down over the audience. It's absolutely insane. You won't find that anywhere else. And I think that that is what makes Disney Cruise Line Disney Cruise Line for sure. But anyways, guys, we have a full day at Castaway Key tomorrow, round two. And I'm very excited for that. We're going to be doing some snorkeling tomorrow as well. So we have a lot of great things to look forward to tomorrow in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that you saw in today's video down in the comments section below. If you are new around here and you want to see more content like this in the future, please be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new Disney Cruise Line video in the very near future. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening. I'll see you guys in the next video.